Hello everyone, it's the Rama Noodle Goddess, and today's video is going to be a little bit random. I haven't done a book haul in a while, and I recently just, actually I just went shopping with my friend. I went to a really big Barnes & Noble that I'd never been to, and she'd never been there either, and it was really cool. It had like escalators and stuff to the second floor, it was really cool. So yeah, if you didn't know, I am sort of a book nerd. I have my bookshelf behind me, as you can see, there's Crooked Kingdom. It's backwards, so you can't read the title. Um, yeah, that's my bookshelf. And I, like I said, I just went shopping, so I wanted to show you guys some books. I was not planning on doing this at all. I sort of just got home, and I was looking through the books that I got and different books that I've been reading. And I was just like, wow, I just really have a strong urge to film a book haul. So I'm filming it now. So if you guys like these types of videos, don't forget to, like, let me know so that I can keep doing these. Um, if you like them, leave a like, comment down below that you like them, and yeah, let's get started. So I got like three books from Barnes & Noble today, but like, I was gonna get An Ember in the Ashes, I'd already read it, and I've already read, oh, uh, what's it called? A Torch Against the Night, or, yeah? Yeah, A Torch Against the Night, that's the second book. I've already read that, and I actually, I think I borrowed someone's book when I read An Ember in the Ashes, so I don't actually own it, but I want to own it just to own it, you know? But I didn't have enough money with me at the store to get it, so I just got three. So one of the ones that I got, I'm going to read this one first out of the first, or out of like the three I got. Um, it's called Wonder, and I think technically this is like a child's book because I looked it up online after I bought it, and the age range was like 8 to 12. When I was shopping with my friend in Barnes & Noble, she pointed it out to me and said, wow, this is a really good book, so I decided to look at it. And basically it's about this guy named August, and he has like a facial, what is it called, Deform deformity. And he like tries to go through life pretending like he's normal, I guess? I don't really know. It was like the ending was sort of like he's trying to convince his classmates because apparently like they moved or something. Um, that he's just like the other kids despite his appearance. I don't know. It's like a, I guess a disorder thing. I don't really know if that's the right word, but this is, this sounds really good. And like I said, probably technically a child's book, but I thought this was cool. Um, the cost, the costumes, I saw the title and it said costumes and it came to my mind. The chapter titles are just like, I don't know how to explain it. They're just, oh, I don't want to get spoiled. Why am I doing this? The title pages are like really simple, I guess, and it helps me to understand it. And this is also the exclusive collector's edition. There was the normal one and then the exclusive one. Obviously, I went for the exclusive one. The next thing I got was Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. And if you didn't know, this is a clearly descriptive of a Shadow Hunter book. And if you hadn't read the Mortal Instruments series and or the, um, well actually the Mortal Instruments series, but there's also another trilogy. Um, so basically this is like an add-on, I guess. It's written by Cassandra Clare and three other authors. And basically, spoilers if you haven't read the Immortal Instruments, it's about Simon. And basically it's him going through Shadowhunter Academy. Um, again, spoiler, he was human, then he turned into a vampire, and now he like, lost his memory from incidents that happened in City of Heavenly Fire, the last book to the Mortal Instruments, and he's trying to find himself again by becoming a shadow hunter and living like his friend, best friend, Clary, and girlfriend, Isabel Lightwood are, and so I've always wanted to read this, and I think it came out last year in November, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was it, and I hadn't got a chance to buy it yet, but I finally got it, and I really hope... Is this backwards? It's backwards for you guys, isn't it? The last book that I bought today was Red Queen, and yes, I know I'm just a little bit late to the party. I know the uh, third book... What was it called? King's? I want to get like yelled at for this if I get it wrong. King's Cage? Yes, it was King's Cage. Okay, don't yell at me. Um, that was kind of like a motivation to actually get into the series. I'd never, obviously, I bought it today, so I'd never read it. And my friends have been bothering me about reading it, and I decided to get it. It's the paperback version. I didn't want to spend all of my money. I still kind of did, but like, not all of it. I have like $2 left, okay? And I technically have no idea what this is about, but if my friends recommend it, I'd probably like it. 
And again, like I said, King's Cage came out, and so I'm going to get into the series now. <laughs> I think I'm going to read this one last because it's part of a series that I don't know, so I'll like be used to it and like know it a little better by the time I get to the next two books. Because Wonder is, I think, is Wonder just a standalone? Or is it a series? I didn't look that up. Can someone tell me? <laughs> And then the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, like, I know that uh, story in my soul of the mortal instruments and the infernal devices, so I will have no problem with that. Moving on, I wanted to let you guys know just some of the books that I have been reading recently or have read recently, and I kind of just finished the new 100 book. It's the 100 Rebellion, and this kind of came to me by surprise because I never followed, like, I own all three of the other, uh, the 100 series, like, books, but I never really followed it as closely as I probably should have been, and I was looking in the bookstore one day, like, a couple weeks ago, and I saw this, and I'm like, they came out with a new book? Why didn't no one tell me? And so, basically, I saw it, I bought it, I read it, and I enjoyed it. I would be very surprised if the author is going to come out with another book for this series. I don't think she is, correct me if I'm wrong, because the ending was pretty... it was a really good ending, it was a pretty solid ending for it to stop, and if there is another one, I'm gonna be like, wow, what are they gonna screw up next? The next book, well, I read this before The 100 Rebellion, but the next one I'm gonna show you guys that I've already read is The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, book one. And if you guys didn't know, which you probably do because I'm super late to all the parties, is that this is a Percy Jackson extension, I guess you could say? Percy Jackson's in the book, but it's like the demigod, Greek gods book from Rick Rord, and like, he... is he... he's still writing books. Like, oh my god. And to be honest, I did not read Percy Jackson when I was little. I will tell you guys this, confession time, I literally just read the Percy Jackson series, um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and the second series, um, what's it called? The Heroes of Olympus. I read that like two months ago. Don't yell at me. I, I never got into it when I was a kid, and my friends are just, they were bothering me so much about reading it, so I decided to give it a shot, and I loved it. I have both of those two series. I own them. They're in my bookshelf right there. And yeah, I am I read this, and I'm going to read the next one when it comes out, and I still need to read Magnus Chase. There's so many books I need to read. Moving on from that, I'm going to talk about the last thing, and this is not a book. It's a coloring book, and it's the Throne of Glass coloring book. And I thought this was so cool. Didn't the selection come out with a coloring book? I think I saw that on Instagram a while back. And I love, like, adult coloring books like these. And I love Throne of Glass. I love Sarah J. Moss. I love Akatar. So why not get a coloring book about Throne of Glass? And I do have, like, a big gigantic set of colored pencils that I haven't used very much. So I wanted to use it. And I think this is so cool because before every little coloring page, there's a little excerpt or passage from one of the Throne of Glass books, including... The Assassin, you can't really see it, The Assassin's Blade, which is like, not a novella, it's just like, um, what's it called? A prequel? But it's not a prequel. I don't know what it's called. I don't know, it was like a before book of The Throne of Glass. It's like part of the series, but not part of the series, you know? That type of book. Anyway, I think these are really cool, I want to get more of them. Let me know if the selection coloring book is actually a thing. I might just be making that up because my brain is stupid. But I'm pretty sure I saw it on Instagram somewhere and I really want to get it. So yeah, let me know. And this was $16. Pretty expensive, but like totally worth it because it's like, it's Throne of Glass, you know? It's Throne of Glass. Okay guys, that's all I had for today. And again, this was a really random video. It wasn't planned at all. I came into this not knowing like anything about book reviews or doing a book haul. Like, before when I did it, it was so bad, and I'm pretty sure this was equally as bad, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. I'm really tired. It's really late. I should be packing for things, but I'm not because I'm an idiot. But yeah, this all was on the spot filming, 
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like these types of videos where I just talk about books because I would really love to just do that because I could talk literally all day. If you guys enjoyed that, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button for notifications. And I will see you guys next time.